Now we're going to start off a discussion of, of both supply in the context of a firm. Now if a firm supplies a good or service, then the firm has the resources and technology to produce it. They can profit from producing it and they plan to produce and sell it. These are the three, uh, I guess you can call them definitions of supply in the, in the context of a firm, which is what we will use in this video and future videos. Now, resources and technology are pretty much, we can call them constraints. Why would we call them constraints? Because they help us determine, they help us determine what and what we can't do. They help us determine what is possible. Determine what is possible and and what is not. So we can think of resources and technology as a limit as to what is possible. Quantity supplied of a good or service is pretty much the amount, the amount, it's the amount that producers, that it's the amount that producers uh, plan to sell. The amount that producers plan to sell during a given time interval, during a given time interval, given during a given time interval at a particular price. <laughs> at a particular price. So quantity supplied is pretty much at the mercy of the producer. The producers will decide how much they want to how much they want to produce and sell at a given time period and how much they want to charge for that. Now, I have here the law of supply. Oh, one last thing before we move to the law of supply is that for quantity supplied, the quantity supplied is measured it's measured, measured as amount per unit of time. That's how we measure it. And sometimes the quantity to supplied can be greater than the quantity demanded. So then the quantity sold is actually less than the quantity supplied. Now on to the law of supply. Now, the law of supply states that other things remain the same. The higher the price of the good, then the greater the quantity of supply. The lower the price of the good, the smaller the quantity supplied. Now, this seems kind of awkward at first, or confusing, I guess. But I want you to think about this in the context of being a, a, a business, a manufacturer that sells. You want to, you want, I guess you want to sell at, you want to sell goods that are, are priced high so you can make a bigger profit because you don't and you won't and you don't want to sell the goods that are priced low so you make more of the good that are uh, priced high and less of the goods that are priced low so we're going to start off with the higher the price of the good higher the price higher the price of uh, of a good then that implies that implies the greater, the greater the amount supplied, greater amount supplied. So the higher the price, then the greater amount the suppliers will supply. But also I want to mention that as the quantity produced increases, so as quantity, as quantity produced uh, as quantity produced goes up, then the marginal cost of production, the marginal cost, marginal cost of production, production will also increase. And this is logical because uh, I guess you can say that the producers will continue to produce with high cost, the marginal cost of production is 
the, the cost of producing one more unit and the producers are willing to incur that cost, willing to incur higher marginal costs to increase their production because they can sell at a profit at the high price that the good is currently standing at. So as the quantity produced increases, the marginal cost of production also increases. But the producers are willing to, to take these higher costs because they think they could sell the, the good at a higher price to make, to make a profit. Once the price fall, fails to cover the cost, they will stop making it. And the last thing I want to note is that, is that producers, producers are willing, they're willing to supply to supply, they're willing to supply a good only if only if they can they can cover at least their marginal cost of production, at least their marginal cost of production, cost of production. That makes sense, doesn't it? You only want to uh, make and supply and sell a good only if you can cover your cost because you don't want to lose money. So then that is what producers are willing to do. It's never worth producing a good if the price received for the good does not at least cover the marginal cost of producing it. And this is where I'll leave you to think about what I talked about in this video. In the next video, we'll still continue with the supply, but we'll continue with uh, some other topics about supply.